Hello friend, welcome to my garden, the Little Mission Garden. I'll explain that name a little later. My name is Kara, and I live in the beautiful Sonoran Desert, about an hour south of Tucson. My romance with this desert has been an off and on dance for the last 15 years. I moved a lot in my early adult life, between here, Oregon, Colorado, and back again. Always hoping, this time, I could stay forever. That's how love affairs go sometimes, and I am in love with this magical place. I grew up in the garden, following at my dad's heels. From those earliest days, I loved the sweet smell of soil, the feeling of it warm between my toes, collecting earthworms for fishing that were churned up by his tiller, and running through long rows of sky-high corn all summer long. Fresh produce from the garden added variety to our meals in the summer, but this wasn't the case the rest of the year. Like so many families, we ate a lot of unhealthy, processed foods, and as I got older, I became overweight. I felt sluggish, unhappy, and insecure about my appearance. I had no idea what eating healthy meant, other than that it made you look better. I began developing a very unhealthy relationship with food, Instead of eating junk, I ate almost nothing. I lost 70 pounds quickly, along with most of my hair. I felt tired and hungry most of the time, and I did poorly in school, but I was thin, and at that time, it felt worth it. I thought food was the enemy, so I rejected it. It wasn't until I had my daughter that I realized I was hurting myself and needed to figure out what eating healthy meant. I began reading nutrition books and slowly learning how to consider food as a healthy fuel for my body rather than something to deprive myself of. I wanted to grow a beautiful garden full of life and health, just as the one I remembered as a kid. This is where it all began. I've gardened all over the country on my travels, on balconies, in raised beds, in community gardens, and in my own backyard. I wanted to grow good, healthy food so badly it hurt. Part of that was necessity. I got married really young, and we were broke. There were times when the only things left in the refrigerator were condiments, when my friends would anonymously leave bags of groceries on our doorstep because they knew we were hungry. One time, a nice older woman gave me all of her pocket change because she saw me putting discounted dented cans into my shopping cart. I thought, surely, if I could just have a little garden, I could be empowered to feed my family better. Even though those days were hard, I am so grateful for them because they drove me to learn about healthy food, soil, seeds, seasons, and trying again when failure taught me an important lesson in the garden. We bought this old adobe fixer-upper home last year. The yard was overgrown with trees, shrubs, and weeds. It had been neglected for a long time. It was hardly a thing of beauty, but it was mine, and I was envisioning what a lush garden it could become. The first thing we did was clear out all of that, and I was left with a dusty, blank, canvas. I know the future has its way of surprising us, but I do hope I can stay here forever. Even though I now have a half acre behind this brick garden wall to cultivate, the most space I've ever had, I remember what it felt like to have a tiny space and few resources to build a garden. By resources, I mean time, money, space, supplies, and knowledge. That's what this channel is about, learning how to grow and prepare healthy food, being as resourceful as possible, wherever we are and with whatever we have. I'm not in such dire circumstances anymore, but I'll never forget what that was like. And I want to give to others the help I received back then. I want to help others learn to feed their bodies for health and how to grow food in a simple way. If I can do that, then I'm returning the kindness shown to me. I'm learning how to grow food in the desert, which may very well be much different than where you are. But the differences really aren't that great 
because we're all limited by something. Whether it's finding the best seed varieties, simplifying soil science, growing in a small space, or problem-solving diseases and pests, let's work together, share together, to focus on how to grow healthy food and how to make beautiful, simple meals with the harvest. No matter where you are now, you deserve healthy food that will nourish your body. Welcome to my garden and kitchen. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.